today are two of the speakers that we've had speak at regional competition, and these two are going on to state. Um, we had, if you did an impromptu speech, stand up. Okay, so we had two other third place speeches, um, and those don't go to state, just our first and second place. Both of ours got first in our regional competition, and uh, they're very impromptu and go impromptu. So those are the two that you're going to hear today. The other team that we have going to state is an Ag Issues team. Our dairy science team got third, and our food science team got third in the state. Our horse judging team got fifth. So our uh, lane judging team went to the state, um, and they both, those have all already competed. So um, they've done really well this year. And uh, But the two speakers that you're going to hear are the goat impromptu and the dairy impromptu. Again, goat impromptu and dairy impromptu. And what they'll be given is they'll be given a speech, and they'll have 20 minutes in order to write that the to on the topic. And um, once they get there, and they have 20 minutes, and then they have to go present. And, and, and they would have the chance, likewise, to compete again next year. At national. Well, 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 no, at national, but I was going to say they also have the opportunity to compete again next year uh, if, uh, with, the, with the program, right? Right, yes. Yes, those are the ones um, to compete next year. Good. Um, the first one that you're going to give it, here is Marina Wharf. She's also our regional. She was just selected as our regional. Um, Big Sandy River Region officer. So, if you want to tell them a little bit about you and your involvement in the FFA and stuff. Okay. Yeah, Mar Mar Marina, right? Yes. Good, Marina, please make yourself at home. All right. Um, my name is Marina Worf, and I am in FFA. Um, SAE, that's a little program with FFA that we do. It's called a Supervised Agriculture Experience. And I'm involved in that, and mine is over rabbits. It's an entrepreneurship. Um, I have rabbits, I can breed them and sell them, and that's through me and my FFA chapter. Uh, I compete in impromptu speaking. I was on the land judging team. Um, I'm a regional officer, I went for that this year, and got it, and I just love FFA and, FFA and the program, and that's a little bit about me and my involvement in it. Very good. All right. <coughs> Well, hello, my name is Marina Wharf, and I was the former 2011-2012 Vice President of the Lawrence County FFA Chapter. Today I will be talking to you about breeding the goat herd. My name's Liz Kinger. Everybody in here probably knows my dad, but it seems like everyone that I know knows him. Um, tried sports out, not too good. Try, well, I work at Wendy's, I hate that. So, I love FFA. This is one thing that I found that I'm so good at. And it relates to everything that I like because I do my horses, that's my thing. Like that is my stress reliever. And the agriculture industry goes right with them, hand in hand. So this really means like a lot to me. Are you ready? As fine as it is. It's a good program in West and, and we will be continuing the program uh, next year. Well then you have to The FFA program has a strong presence in this high school, a historically strong presence. Um, heaven forbid that, that uh, um, we not, though, always look at every program, regardless. Even, even though we're offering, our, offering two classes of chemistry next year, we would always review that program and look at the benefits and how our students are are they learning? What are they doing? What are they not doing? Uh, and we will continue to do that with every program. Uh, regardless. But you kind of jumped the gun on that, didn't you? To tell them that they wouldn't have the program? Regardless of it. And I appreciate your comments, and, and but as I mentioned earlier, I'm assuming the students were perceptive enough when I said that we wished them luck next year uh, in the speech program and, and, and for years to come. 